Welcome back, everybody, to another deep dive. This time, we're getting our blenders ready because we're all about smoothies. Smoothies. I love a good smoothie. And who doesn't? But today, we're not just whipping up any old blend. We're diving deep into Smoothies for Optimum Health, a book edited by Kevin Gianni. Ah, Kevin Gianni. He's all about getting the most out of your health, right? Exactly. And in this book, he's teamed up with over 20 health experts to create a guide that's way more than just a recipe book. Oh, interesting. So what's different about this one? Well, first off, it's not just about yummy smoothies. It's about optimum health smoothies. We're talking about using smoothies to boost energy, uh, heal, detox, even target specific goals like reducing inflammation. OK, so it's about using smoothies strategically to achieve those specific goals. I like that. Me too. And with so many experts, you know there's going to be a ton of variety, right? Like we've got Matt Monarch, who's all about simple smoothies for healthy weight gain. So it's not just about losing weight with smoothies. That's cool. Nope. And then we have Angela Stokes, who actually credits smoothies for helping her on this huge weight loss journey. Wow, really? Quite the transformation. Totally. And of course, we can't forget David Wolf, the superfood guru, packing his recipes with all kinds of exciting ingredients. I can already imagine. Speaking of ingredients, this book definitely doesn't shy away from the unusual. Oh, yeah. Get ready for things like uh, acai berries. Love those. Full of antioxidants. Exactly. And goji berries, hemp seeds. I mean, you name it. Even things like prickly pear cactus fruits. Yeah. Prickly pear cactus. Not your average smoothie ingredient, but apparently it's great for blood sugar balance. So there's a real focus on using these special ingredients for their health benefits. It's like food as medicine. Absolutely. And it makes total sense. Now, I got to know, what are some of the craziest recipe names? Those always catch my eye. Oh, my gosh. Yes. There are some seriously creative ones in here. Lay it on me. Okay. How about angelic cream cheese? <laughs> I know, right? Cream cheese in a smoothie. Wait, what? <laughs> That's wild. But it's actually made with avocado, lemon, dates, and dulse, which is a type of seaweed. And supposedly, it tastes just like cream cheese. Seaweed? Now, that's a twist. I'm so curious. Right. It's like, is this going to work? But people swear by it. OK. OK. What else is there? How about the Abundant Abandonment Smoothie? Now, that's a name. Right. It's got hemp seed butter, goji berries, coconut oil, and this dash of ethereum gold. Have you heard of that? Ethereum gold. Rings a bell. Is it some kind of mineral? Yeah. It's a mineral supplement, and supposedly it can help with creativity and stress. Wow. Okay. Smoothies with a side of stress relief. Interesting. Exactly. And last but not least, we have love in the desert. Okay. I'm intrigued. What's in this one? Think aloe vera flesh, prickly pear cactus fruit, and agave nectar. That sounds surprisingly refreshing. It really does. And it totally embodies the book's adventurous spirit. These recipes are blowing my mind. It's like a whole new world of smoothies out there. I know. And beyond the recipes themselves, the book is full of amazing tips from these experts. Oh, like what? I'm always looking for smoothie hacks. Well, Matt Monarch suggests soaking dried fruits overnight. Ah, yeah. To plump them up? Does he say why? He says it enhances the flavor and makes them easier to digest. Smart. I never thought of it for smoothies, but I do that with dried fruit for snacks. Exactly. Then we have Angela Stokes, who recommends keeping those smoothie combinations simple, especially for beginners. Makes sense. It's like starting with a basic recipe before getting fancy. Too many ingredients can be overwhelming. Totally. And Brendan Brazier, he's an Ironman triathlete, by the way. Wow, serious athlete. He suggests freezing those bananas for a thicker, sweeter smoothie. That's a classic. And it works like a charm. I'm already taking notes here. Me too. So we've talked about the recipes, the ingredients, the tips, but there's so much more to uncover in this book. There is. What else is there? It delves into some broader health philosophies too, like the importance of using organic produce. Oh, that's key. Avoiding those pesticides. Yeah. Kevin Gianni, the editor, is really passionate about that. So he's not just talking about recipes. He's advocating for a whole lifestyle change. Exactly. And we're just getting started. There's a lot more to explore. Well, let's dive in. I'm ready for more. So beyond the whole organic thing, the book also talks about uh, food combining and supplements. Food combining? Hmm. That's an interesting one. Yeah, it's about how certain food combinations are easier or harder for your body to digest. Makes sense. I've definitely noticed that some smoothies leave me feeling bloated. Exactly. And this book gives you the lowdown on what to pair together for optimum digestion. That's handy. I'm all about making smoothies work for me. 
not against me. Totally. And there's the whole physiological testing. Thing. Physiological testing or for smoothies. I got to hear more about this. Right. It's like next level smoothie dedication. No kidding. So basically it's about getting tests like um, blood work or saliva tests to figure out what your body specifically needs. So it's not just about general health tips. It's about tailoring those smoothies to your individual needs. Exactly. It's like personalized smoothie medicine. I love that. Everyone's body is different, so it makes sense that our smoothie should be different too. Right. And there's even a section on chakras and smoothies. Wait, what chakras? Now that's something I got to hear about. It's yeah. pretty wild. <laughs> Yasmin Gao, a yoga practitioner, talks about how certain smoothies can help balance your chakras for like overall harmony and well-being. Okay, color me intrigued. So it's like smoothies for the mind, body, and spirit. Exactly. Yeah. It's all about that holistic approach. Oh. Speaking of which, we've talked a lot about weight loss smoothies, but this book also dives into smoothies for weight gain. Oh, yeah. Matt Monarch's approach? Yep. He believes smoothies can be a powerful tool for healthy weight gain. So it's not just about packing in calories. It's about choosing the right ingredients to nourish and fuel your body. Precisely. And remember that angelic cream cheese smoothie. The one with seaweed. How could I forget? It's actually surprisingly calorie dense thanks to the avocado and dates. So even a smoothie that tastes like cream cheese can help you gain weight. Amazing. Oh, I know, right? It's proof that healthy eating doesn't have to be restrictive. It can be adapted to fit any goal. Okay, but let's circle back to Angela Stokes and her weight loss journey. What were some of her key takeaways? I'm always up for some weight loss inspiration. Well, she's a big advocate for keeping those smoothie combinations simple, especially for beginners. Simple, huh? So no crazy 10 ingredient concoctions. Exactly. It's about making them easy to digest so your body can actually absorb all those nutrients. That makes a lot of sense. And it's less intimidating for people who are new to the whole smoothie game. Totally. And she's all about using water-rich foods in her smoothies. Ah, so like cucumbers and melons. Yep. Keeps them light and hydrating, you know. Definitely. No one wants to feel weighed down after a smoothie. Exactly. It should be energizing and refreshing. For sure. So what about David Wolf? What kind of soupy food magic does he bring to the table? Well, he's all about blending ancient wisdom with modern science. Like, he draws a lot of inspiration from traditional practices and indigenous cultures. Oh, cool. Using ingredients that have been prized for their healing properties for centuries. Exactly. And his recipes are always bursting with flavor and vitality. I can only imagine. He's known for using some pretty exotic ingredients. Oh, yeah. Like raw cacao, maca, goji berries. All those superfoods you can think of. Okay, give me some examples. I need some recipe inspiration. All right, so one that stands out is the Flying High Goji Berry Bonanza. Just the name is epic. I know, right? It's all about boosting energy. It's got water or tea as a base, coconut water or nut milk, cacao powder, maca, goji berries, frozen fruit. Oh, wow, hold on. I'm trying to keep up. Cacao powder, maca, goji berries. That's a lot of good stuff. It is. And hemp seeds. A pinch of sea salt. Wow, that's a symphony of flavors and textures right there. And in true David Wolf style, he even suggests adding goji berry extract powder. Wow, he doesn't hold back. This smoothie sounds like a serious energy boost. It definitely does. And then, for a real superfood explosion, there's the Global Superfoods Smoothie. Global Superfoods Smoothie, okay. Hit me with it. What's in that one? Think it's A.E. berry powder, maca powder, hemp protein, Lucuma powder, mesquite powder. Okay, slow down. My blender's gonna overheat just trying to keep up with all his ingredients. Lucuma powder? What even is that? I know, right? It's a lot. It's like a world tour of superfoods in one glass. And I bet it tastes as good as it sounds. Okay, so we've talked about specific ingredients, but is there any advice on, like, the technique of smoothie making? Oh, definitely. The book goes into detail about things like food combining. Right, we touched on that earlier, but tell me more. So it's the idea that some food combinations are easier to digest than others. Like pairing fruits with fruits is generally good, but mixing fruits and proteins can be tricky. Okay, so there's a real science to it. It's not just about throwing everything in the blender and hoping for the best. Exactly. And they give you all the guidelines to create smoothies that are both delicious and easy on the stomach. So helpful. I've definitely made some smoothies in the past that, well, let's just say they didn't agree with me. We've all been there. And of course, the book stresses the importance of good equipment. Ah, uh, yeah. A high-powered blender is key, especially if you're using frozen fruit or nuts. For sure. You want that smooth, creamy consistency. No one likes a chunky smoothie. 
Absolutely. And they even recommend specific brands like uh, Vitamix and Blendtec. Yep. Those are like the gold standard. They're an investment for sure. But if you're serious about smoothies, they're totally worth it. I agree. They also talk about other useful tools like nut milk bags and glass jars for storage. It's like setting up your own little smoothie bar at home. Okay, but I want to go back to something you mentioned earlier. The idea that smoothies can be more than just physical nourishment. Oh, yeah. The mind-body-spirit connection. Exactly. We've talked about smoothies for energy and healing, but what about using them to support our mental and emotional well-being? I love that idea. Like, what if we could craft smoothies to boost our mood or enhance creativity? Exactly. Or even to promote relaxation and ease stress. That's a smoothie I could get behind. It's like we're not just thinking about what we put in our bodies, but how those ingredients might impact our minds and spirits as well. Right. It's about recognizing that food is more than just fuel. It's information that affects us on multiple levels. I love that. Yeah. So it's about being more intentional with our smoothie choices. Yeah. It's about asking ourselves, what do I want to feel? What do I want to achieve? And then creating a smoothie that supports those goals. Exactly. It's like becoming your own smoothie alchemist, blending ingredients to create personalized potions for optimal well-being. I love that analogy. So it's about tapping into that creativity and intuition, trusting your gut. And recognizing that there's no one right answer. What works for one person might not work for another. It's about finding what resonates with you and your body. That makes a lot of sense. Speaking of personalized approaches, well, let's circle back to that physiological testing thing. I'm still so intrigued by that. Yeah, it's definitely unique. It's all about understanding your individual needs. So getting tests to figure out if you have any deficiencies or imbalances? Exactly. Like maybe you're low in iron or vitamin D. Or maybe you have a sensitivity to gluten or dairy. And then you can adjust your smoothie recipes accordingly. It's like having a personalized smoothie roadmap for optimum health. Exactly. And it takes the guesswork out of it. No more blindly following recipes. I love it. It's empowering. Yeah. Okay, so we've covered a ton of ground today. We have. From unique ingredients and expert tips to food combining and chakras, this book is a real treasure trove of smoothie wisdom. It is, I know. It's been an amazing journey through the world of Optimum Health smoothies. Right. Who knew there was so much to learn about blending fruits and veggies? Seriously. <laughs> but before we say goodbye, I want to leave our listeners with a little something to chew on, so to speak. Okay, I like it. A smoothie for thought. Exactly. We've talked about smoothies for energy, healing, weight loss, weight gain. But what if we take it a step further? Ooh, I'm intrigued. What do you have in mind? What if we start thinking about smoothies as a way to enhance other areas of our lives? Other areas? Like what? Well, we focused a lot on the physical, right? But what about smoothies for, like, mental clarity or emotional well-being? Oh, interesting. So it's like we're not just nourishing our bodies but our minds and spirits, too. Exactly. Like, imagine a smoothie that helps you focus and concentrate when you really need that mental edge. Oh, I could use that some days. Or a smoothie that helps you unwind and de-stress after a crazy day. Right. Or even a blend that sparks creativity. Okay, now you're really speaking my language. It's like we're creating these personalized potions for every aspect of our lives. I love that. And the best part is there's no one right answer. It's all about experimenting and finding what works for you. It's about tuning into your own body and intuition. Totally. So as we wrap up our deep dive into Smoothies for Optimum Health, I want to challenge our listeners to think outside the blender. I like it. What's the challenge? How can you use smoothies to not just improve your physical health, but to enhance every aspect of your life? Great question. It's about seeing those smoothies as more than just a drink but as a tool for creating the life you want. Exactly. And don't forget, we've got a link to the Smoothies for Optimum Health ebook in the episode description. It's packed with all the recipes and tips we talked about today, plus so much more. So go check it out. And until next time, happy blending, everyone. <laughs>